Hi YouTubers, this is JR's Diecast Cars back with another video. I'm going to, uh, I was going to open up some Redline Club pieces. Um, actually, I'm going to open up, uh, there will be one Redline Club piece and uh, a couple convention pieces and uh, a couple from uh, 2009 the Holiday uh, Rod series. Anyways, this video is all, all uh, Texas drive -ins. Um The first one you see on the uh, on the um, can't even think of it now. Gosh darn it. On my turntable. I had a hard day at work guys. Long day. Anyhow first one is from uh, the classic series. Um I had quite a few of these. Actually, I had some that was chase pieces. And when it came out, I got rid of them. I wish I never would have. But you know what? I mean, ain't no sense crying over spilt milk. But uh, I, I was lucky I kept this casting out of the classics. I do have the red one out of the 30 car set, which I'll be showing out here in a little bit. But uh, here's the blue one. And uh, these things are heavy. It's metal on metal. But, uh, there's, I mean, there's not a lot of detail on this one here. No painted tail lights and headlights. Which that's, I mean, that's cool. I mean, the casting itself, you don't need all that other on there. Anyhow, there's the first one. And uh, I got uh, another one. Which is, I think this is from the 4th of July set to come out quite a few years ago. I don't remember what year, but uh, I only got one of these. I was lucky enough to find it in the store. And then again, no detail work really, but that's, that's cool. I mean, I love the flames on it. And uh, this casting here is, is nice. Doesn't really matter how they do it, it always turns out nice. I set the blue one off. I set this one up here. Next one will be um, <coughs> it's Cocoa Puffs. I uh, can't remember what year this come out in either, actually. <laughs> That's pretty bad. But uh, here this one is. Red Light Tires. These things are sweet, though. Like I said, then again, not a lot of detail work. But I mean, you know, I'm not a big fan of the of some of the um, decals they put on it. But this one here, yeah, you know, I like it. I like the way it looks and everything. It's a pretty tough looking little truck. I'm gonna set this one over here. Set this one up, and this one does have rubber tires, metal base. Um, the next one is um. I think this was a Real Rider series that was out a few years ago. I think that was the name of it. And it's this one here. Got another one of these loose. I'm going to hold on to it for a while. And uh, might make a custom out of it one of these days. Probably will, actually. But uh, like I say, no, no uh, detail, no tail lights, headlights. But then again, I like the way they... Put it together. I mean, I love the tires, the wheels. Yeah. You see, these castings are heavy. Every one of them are. But put this one out of the way. I'm going to put this one up here. And uh, one here is a custom. I've showed it before. A buddy of mine made this uh, a couple years ago. And I think he done a fantastic job on it. It's got Ghost Riders on it. it says it on the tailgate. And I like the decal work that he done on it. It's there's a skull on fire there. Now this thing here is bad, boy. He said I think he done a real good job. Actually, this was one of the classics, and then I uh, sent it to him, and he fixed it all up for me. Okay, and uh, let's see. The next one will be a. Um, it will be from the classic series. It's the. Uh, from the 30 car set. It's the red one. 
And uh, like I say, this is, I picked this up. I picked up the whole set and ended up opening it all up. Um, I think, I, yeah, that was a Convoy Custom come out in that in green. I've got it uh, carded. I might open it up eventually, which I probably will. But uh, I got some high-ended Convoy Customs. I got the pink one from the Classic Series. I got the, the black one, Chase piece. I got the blue one, Chase. Got the green chase. I might open them up. We'll have to see. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, this one here is pretty sweet looking. I like it a lot. And, uh, can't hardly find these anymore. But if you do, they're going to cost you a few bucks. I think the last one I seen was 25 or 30 just for a loose one. All right, <clears throat> excuse me. Now, some of you guys are gonna think I'm nuts for doing this, but uh, I am a loose collector now. There ain't no sense keeping them in the package. Uh, I can't display them the way I want if they're in the package because I don't really have the room. So the first one I'm going to open up that's carded, I've had since it come out, 2009. And that was from uh, 2009 Holiday Rods. I bought a case of these. And uh, I was very fortunate to get the really hard one out of this, which was the blue one. And uh, I will be opening that up too. But uh, we're going to take this one off. But here's one of them. There's another variation in this. I don't think it has the red line around the rims or something like that. I don't remember. I had it at one time and I got rid of it. I wish I wouldn't have. But uh, I don't know what these pieces really go for and I don't I don't really care. Uh, this one here is detailed out. It's got painted headlights, painted tail lights. I mean that thing is that's a beautiful truck right there. I like it a lot. Like I said, they're all heavy. The next one I'm going to open. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to frown on this one. But uh, it doesn't. I mean, it's mine, so I'm going to open it. Like I said, which was this one here. And I know this one was a hard one to get. Uh, they didn't put out very many of them that I know of, uh, but I was lucky when I bought the case and it, it was in there. So here we go, guys. We're going to open it up. Um, I know it knocks the value down when you open up certain things, but hey, you know, I mean, I didn't give high end or big money for it. I don't even remember what I paid for the entire case, which it doesn't matter. But uh, here's the blue one, and it's detailed out as well. <laughs> I, actually, I can't, can't even believe I opened it up, to tell you the truth. I've had this thing ever since 2009, so it's been almost 10 years that I've had it. Like I say, the pa some of the packaging of my stuff has been damaged. From storing it in uh, places that wasn't uh, right places to store it, you know, it's not you know climate control and all that, and it did mess up some of my packaging. So there ain't no sense in having a little bit of stuff in package and everything else open. So I just opened it up. Now I've got the Redline Club one. I don't think I will open that. Um, now, I'll probably leave that one alone. I'll just leave it in the package for right now. Never know. I mean, one of these days I may sell it. I got the 83 Silverado. I mean, you know, if I put a nice little clump of cars together, I could probably get a nice chunk of change. And then I could buy a lot more different stuff. I mean, I know if I sell it, 
I never get my hands on another one, but you know what? When you're gone, it, it's not going to matter anyway. So, and uh, I mean, if, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. But anyhow, this one here is all detailed out. I love it. it. said the Ford on the front. It says it real good. So does this one here, actually. It says it as well. And it's been painted. Set that one out of the way. We're going to set the blue one up there. That thing is a very beautiful truck. All right. The next one is a 2016 selection series. Uh, one of one. It's limited to 9,000. So why not open it? And here it is here. As some people say, free the peace. Come on. Being stubborn. I want to come out. So, oh man, this thing is very, very nice out of the package. Wow. I'm glad I opened it. Look at that mirror finish. Look at that, man. Oh, oh, oh gosh, so mighty. The bikes are painted. Look at that. Damn. Excuse my language. The tanks are painted. And this thing is detailed to the max. Actually, it looks... Right. Better than the... <laughs> The real rider one. And that's saying a lot, actually. That's crazy. Man, this thing is really, really nice. Whoa, look at that. That thing is beautiful. Whoa. Nice, 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 nice truck. Look at that. Ford painted on the tailgate. And this thing is, is beautiful, man. Wow. Set the blue one there. We're going to set this one up here. That is sharp. Okay. The next one is... Is a Texas driver. And it is the Mexican exclusive... It's this one here. It's limited to 4,000 pieces. Get this out. Oh, this one here is just, wow, this one is beautiful too. Painted, look at that. Tail lights are painted, it's got the chrome around it. Ford's painted on the tailgate. Oh, man. Headlights are painted. Look at the bikes. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. These things are beautiful out of the package. There's a convention logo on the top of the hood. Oh, man. You know what? Now I'm glad I opened these up. There's that one. And like I say, these things are super duper heavy. Wow. Um, boy, it's easy to get addictive to opening these things up, I tell you. But they, there's nothing, nothing like it, man. I mean, wow. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful trucks. Next one is the 17th Annual Collector's Nationals. Look at that. Look at that, look at that, look at that. So, let's get this one out. And this is limited to 2,800 pieces. So, there's probably like, what, maybe 2,000 of them out there have not been opened, probably. But you know what? I don't care. Mine's open, and that's the way I want it. 
another one detailed out to the mind. Look at the bikes in this one, man. Look at that. Oh, wow. Now, see, I like this because they put the the logo right here on the tail end of the bed of the truck. I like that instead of up on the hood or anything. See, this thing's detailed out. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that truck, guys. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Keep saying it, but it's the truth. These things are, oh, man, nice, nice, nice. But this one, this is the last one. This will be it on the video because it's already almost 17 minutes. Um, see, guys, I, I've got one more that's packaged, and I probably will not open it. Um, I haven't quite decided yet, actually. <laughs> I don't know what I want to do. Like I said, never know. I may break down and sell it. I doubt it, but um, I don't know what I'm going <laughs> to do yet. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I really did enjoy opening them up. Um, they, oh, wow, <laughs> nice pieces, man. Like I said, these these things are beautiful trucks. Uh, and I got I got a nice little collection of them going on now. Got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11 different Texas drive-ins. And that's including the one that was customized for me. So I've showed this to you guys before, but I, I love showing this truck off, man, because he done such an amazing job on it. I think he did. All right, guys. Like I say, this is almost, yeah, it's just getting over 17 minutes. All right, hey, look, guys, I'm going to cut this off here. Y'all have a blessed evening. I hope you enjoyed the video as much as I did opening them up. Uh, I'll see y'all on the next one, and y'all have a blessed evening.